What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling the facade of the L'Oreal building. Uh, now L'Oreal is of course a famous company that does uh, I guess some girl stuff? I'm not really sure. But anyway they have a cool building with an evil, even cooler facade and it's quite challenging to model something like that in Revit and I like challenges so that's what I'm doing today. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so here we are in Revit and let's get started and I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project and if you want to download this project once I finished it, uh, it's going to be up on my Patreon, first link in the description, for only $5 a month you can get access to all of my project files, over 150 Revit project files so far. Okay, so here we are, we're in Revit, we've started, but... Uh, we need to find some images to help us model this building. So if I move Revit out of the way, as you can see here, I've got two images. Uh, one is this uh, L'Oreal building facade that I'm going to use uh, to, to model the whole facade. And the second one, as you can see over here, is just a cutout map that I'm going to use to set up a material that's uh, going to be one of the facade layers, actually, this a circular layer as you can see over here. I know it's not the same pattern, it's a bit different, this uh, this one is more uniform, but you get the point, it's going to get to give you the same effect. Uh, but let's uh, just uh, get into Revit and let's first set the units, I like to use meters, so just type in UN and then set to whichever units you prefer to use. Then I'm going to go to South Elevation and here let's add some floors so uh, or levels, so you go to the level tool or you just type in LL and you start the level tool and I'm just going to use the pick lines tool with an offset of 4 meters and let's give it a few more levels. So let's see, this is 6, let's do 7, 8, I think 8 will be enough for this project, I'm not sure how many floors the, the actual building has, but 8 will do for our project. And let's just move Revit out of the way now, and let's uh, drag this image over into Revit, and just place it like that. Uh, then you maximize Revit, and you zoom in, and you place it kind of somewhere in the middle, and then you can use the arrow keys to kind of position it, and make sure that the bottom is aligned with the level 1. And now to scale it in place you use the scale tool and for that you use the shortcut RE for scale, you select this, you hit enter and then uh, make sure that you, that you select the graphical scale and you pick the, the point down here on level 1 then you go straight up to the top of the building and then you extend it all the way to level 8. And once that's done you've got your facade or you've got your image, the facade is yet to come. Uh, and now go back into level 1 and just place a single wall like so and for that the shortcut is WA and once you have this wall now we need to create that elaborate shape. So how do you do that? Uh, well let's go back into our uh, south elevation, I can go like that. You select the wall and then instead of like dragging it like this which you can do, uh, but the easiest way to do it is to use edit, uh, edit profile. So you adjust this to that, remove constraints, uh, you make sure you adjust this, again remove constraints, I'll remove constraints over here, so just unlock it, and that looks uh, alright now, and now it's time to make these holes or cutouts. And you do that by using the spline tool, but it's a bit tricky, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the, the thing is, spline tools, uh, they can't kind of create a continuous spline or a continuous circular hole. So this is how you use it. You start off from a point where uh, you're at on the straightest part, so something like this, and then you go to one side, maybe like, I don't know, like that. And you go all the way around, like this. So let's see. Yeah, you go like that and let's finish it off somewhere here. So you don't go all the way to the other end because you're going to have trouble snapping to the end. Then you switch just to the line tool and then you come next to it and if you can't find the end point just come near and uh, hit the tab key and it's going to help you snap to this thing. So that's how you do all of these uh, weird shaped uh, openings. So again you do spline, you go all the way around, around this tricky bit 
you come to this kind of hard edge, you go all the way around. So whenever you have a curve like this, so you hit one click here, then you go here over here where uh, these two lines meet. So you click there and then you go over here and then you get that perfect uh, little curve. So that's how you get that effect. So you go all the way to the other side, you come here, you go like that and you finish somewhere over here and then you can connect it either with a arc or with a straight line. I just prefer using straight lines. And basically you repeat the same process and you get the rest of this uh, facade. So let's do, I don't know, let's do this one. This one seems easy and yeah, I'm just going to speed this up. You don't have to watch the whole thing. And in the end you get something that looks like this. Now we're just going to hit finish and there we go. So this is just uh, one of those facades and if we're going to 3D it looks, well it's quite beautiful actually. So now let's do that second facade or let's do the, the glass part and for that we're going to be using that image for a bump map. So let's go here into level 1 and uh, this is just a generic wall. Let's change it to generic 300 and go into edit type, edit uh, structure and here let's change the material to some concrete. Let's see what we have. Yeah, let's use something like this that looks nice. Hit apply, OK. And once we're done with that, hit apply again, OK. And uh, let's go and search for a new wall or let's actually create one. So go into edit type, duplicate and let's call this one just glass. And hit OK and go here into structure and change it from uh, 0.2 to 0 0.02 or maybe 0 0.03. So this is just that uh, glass wall. And for the material, uh, let's go and let's find some glass. So I'm just going to search here for glass. And uh, we have this frosted glass. Let's see, what else do we have? Green glass. Okay, let's see what else can work. Maybe this glass brick. Uh, I like using this one. As you can see, that's, well, it's a glass brick, but uh, it's one of those uh, glass materials that's not really too transparent. So uh, what they need to do is add a cutout. So once you select this uh, glass, where is it? Glass brick, uh, load it in. So now you can change it, go to appearance and here for the cutout, check, make sure to check that. And then let me just go to desktop and find uh, this polka dots uh, bump map and as you can see this is what uh, what you get with it and now I'm just going to edit the scale so go into edit image and here uh, drop the brightness a bit because it's too uh, it makes too uh, uh, the holes are too large or the there I guess uh, it's it should be less transparent than this or more transparent I mean Anyway, sorry, uh, let's change the, the scale. So you go here to scale and let's do this at five by five meters. So do that at five by five, hit done, hit apply, again go OK, OK, OK. And now you can create that wall. So start just from here and go all the way to the other side. You select that wall and you just use the arrow keys to kind of uh, make it uh, closer to this wall. Then we're just going to go into 3D. So this is what we have. And uh, let's create a camera to view this. So go to level one and let's go here, uh, camera. 
make a view yeah this looks really cool wow okay I'm, I'm impressed and let's extend this wall as you can see if I go into 3d I guess it wasn't high enough yeah it should go all the way up or we can simply uh, connect it to level 8 yeah so uh, it looks like it's not transparent but of course when we go into our uh, 3d view one uh, this one and uh, let's go into ray trace to see what this looks like as a rendering so just ray trace and there we go so there we go we've got our concrete with the background uh, with, with the background glass and it looks like that of course by changing uh, this uh, this pattern uh, maybe make it a bit grayer uh, this would be less transparent or if you change the pattern it would look a bit different but you get the point that's how you create this awesome looking uh, laurel building facade but anyway that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe a like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials uh, please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day